So I've tried at least a few times now to do a little intro for this game, and I just can't seem to, uh, can't seem to, to say thank you in a way that doesn't make me start crying, I guess. Uh, I know that sounds ridiculous, but I just, uh, I just wanted to say thank you guys for just changing my life and allowing me to do this. And I, I truly am blessed to have you guys follow me, and, uh, I don't know. I just, just wanted to express my gratitude and say thank you, and I hope this is a, a fun series for us, and, uh, this is actually, I don't know if it's a prequel or it takes place during The Evil Within, but I do know it takes place along that same storyline, but it follows Kidman, which is the person I'm controlling right now, so, with that being said, I love you guys, thank you so much for all your support just in 2015 and in general I'm actually curious where you guys are from uh, I live in Atlanta Georgia right now and lived here for since 2005 so anyways I love you guys hope to see this do well I don't have a like goal or anything uh, I'm not gonna really set one I mean I 30,000 40,000 I have no idea anything is amazing as long as I just I just love reading the the feedback from you guys so with that being said let do you stand with Mobius I do. I made my choice. So this might seem like a familiar scene. We're just on this area. Uh, I like to kind of control the characters. So chapter one and oath. Uh, actually, there was something back here. Hang on. I kept look looking at it. I didn't know what it was. Um, it's like you can investigate no the amulets. Or anything. Beacon Mental Hospital. So that's where we just crashed. I'm not sure. This kind of starts off a little like Silent Hill Downpour, which. One of the best games. It's like one of my favorite games Crash. ever. I wasn't alone. Where is everybody? This is kind of creepy. I've heard this DLC is about four hours long, so it was only like ten dollars. Well, actually, I bought the season pass when the game came out. I didn't know that. I guess people think I get stuff for free, but I actually bought it, and I was like expecting something to happen soon, but I didn't know that they would finally have a downloadable content worth playing. Oh, what is this? Hang on, what? Oh, we're supposed to just go through here? Get out of here. I actually think so far this, I mean, for it to be a solid story and have like chapter one and all that makes me think this actually might be a really great kind of expansion. I'm kind of going to search around now. What is this? Okay. KCPD criminal record. Okay, so that's just a bunch of 
different case numbers. Now, I'm not sure since we found out... Well, I don't want to spoil the main story. If you haven't seen the original series, I won't really try to talk about it too much and kind of just focus on this. Which, uh, meanwhile, I was actually going to tell you... What the fuck? Oh no, not this. No, not this head trip. I'm not sure if I'm... What the fuck, man? I'm not sure if it's... Something I'm really no noticing and... Alright, so right now she's having some kind of... Sounds like the end of True Detective, almost. Joseph. Oh shit, I'm like, can't control her almost. There we go. Settle down, Leslie. 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 Leslie Withers. I'm sorry? Kid, I need you focused. I need your attention. This is a serious matter. Everything we do is a serious matter. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'd like to think so, but conviction must be proven with action. As I was saying, your target is Leslie Withers. He's a patient at Beacon Mental Hospital. But he's something more. Simply put, we need him to run our STEM system. Without this asset, our research will mean nothing. I don't understand. We own Beacon. Why not just take him? Our relationship with his advisor, Marcelo Jimenez, has become rather strained. The boy is a leverage piece. Jimenez plans to activate a STEM prototype at Beacon without our permission. Obviously, that's unsuitable. Have no illusions. It will be dangerous. Come, take a walk. The nurses are waiting. Hey there. Where did you come from? Wait, what? Hey, oh, did I just like... I guess if the cat hops in your lap, you can save it. I thought I beat the first chapter just like that. So instead of the mental hospital, where Sebastian kept getting transported to, or back and forth, or whatever was really happening. I mean, even after the end of that game, I still had questions. And I guess it's kind of cool, because we might get the full perspective from her. Which, speaking of which, I was trying to tell you this. Uh... She's actually voiced by Jennifer Carpenter, if I'm not mistaken, which is Dexter's sister in the show Dexter. Wait, how come I can't see his face? That's kind of creepy. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I was going to tell you, if, if this series does well, you can expect... Uh, they have apparently two other planned downloadable contents kind of like this one where you actually play as the bad guy which I'm actually kind of curious how that's gonna go and I'll also probably post this series kind of fast because I think the evil within was one of my favorite games of 2014 along with like Far Cry 4 which is funny that they both had DLC come out on the same day but yeah I, I just feel like this is gonna be one of those games that after all the DLCs out they're gonna have that amazing uh, game of the year edition or whatever if Jimenez activates the system you'll be pulled in hopefully he doesn't 
but as a precaution, we've prepared an infusion to prevent contamination. Like a vaccine? To protect me? More accurately, to hide you. We developed STEM, but there is a ghost in the system. Something we call Ruvik. It means to keep us out. This infusion should protect you to some extent. Not sure how I feel about this business suit guy in front of me. I've heard this this one has actually like new monsters and stuff, so I'm very excited to see what they're capable of. The box I think it was a box head guy. It was like my favorite villain. Why send me alone? You won't be alone. You'll be with your team from KPD. You get a call on the radio reporting an incident at Beacon. Everything will be arranged. But their consequences of little value. In regards to your mission, they're expendable. So you can't do anything. Crawl, run, but you can kick. I like it. Come, sit down. We must have that boy. He will enable us to change everything. I'll come back with him. I needn't remind you the consequences for failure. Loyalty is a sensitive subject for us. Trust is such a valued commodity in today's world. So once again, I ask you, do you stand with Mobius? I do. I made my choice. Now you must back up your words with actions. Do not waver. Oh. Now I'm going to count down. And when I'm finished, I'll ask you a series of questions. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now I'd like to ask you some questions. Have you ever felt abandoned by the ones you trusted? I'm not really sure what that moving thing. Hang on. Oh, the fan. I was like kind of freaking out for a minute. All right. So this DLC being called the assignment kind of makes sense. Can I go down there? I guess not, guys. Uh, let's see. Let's look around this way. I'm a little nervous how this is gonna play out because I don't know how you upgrade abilities or anything like that. There's a flashlight. Oh shit! All right, so this we're, the icon to press X or whatever didn't pop up, so I forgot this game doesn't spoon feed you at all. Oh, that's not good. All right, so our first dead body, I guess. Problem is, I have no weapons, so if I get attacked, it's over. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, here we go. Oh. <sighs> 
Help! Hey! What's the L's on his gloves? You see that? Luck from the inside. Maybe there's another way in. What the hell is this thing? Oh shit! Oh my god, not this. You know it's about to be bad news bears. Oh yeah. Just lovely. Please. No. No. That cannot be good. Oh shit. What could have done this? Okay, so we finally got in here, but then the dude's dead. I'll just go through these doors. Wait, is it? Oh. Ooh, get off me, bitch! No, no, get it off me! There we go. Holy shit. I'll take this. I'm afraid that the fragile mental states of the subjects are limiting our studies. Mobius wants us to move past beacon patients and onto more stable people. They want to get STEM closer to its intended use. Would they see the world in the same way? Would a sane mind weather the psychically draining experience? I had that dream again. I entered the STEM myself. Oh, hang on, what is that? Using cover? Alright. So this is kind of the point in the game where I gotta get back to use of these controls a little bit. Okay, luring enemies, you can call them. This actually seems like something new. I don't remember this really... ...being in the game, I thought. Come here. Let's just walk over here. Well, let me just crouch, just to be safe. I remember playing this alongside of, I think it was Alien Isolation. Over here. Okay, now there she goes. Problem is, hang on. No, oh, get back. Probably could actually do a stealth kill if I needed to. You're just kind of moving the enemy away from that little spot. Oh, go, 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 go! Oh, shit! Make it through, make it through. There we go. Oh, my God, guys. Are you kidding? So, I wanted to thank you guys for watching the first part of this series, and I wanted to tell you that uh, I will be giving away... I wasn't trying to give away a season pass, but I think that might not really work out well, so... I'll just be giving away, like, two copies of The Evil Within. Uh, any system preference, just leave a comment below. And with that being said, you guys stay classy. And until next time.